Hello everyone, welcome to Praveen Tutorial Point. In this session, uh, we are going to discuss about the scalar product or dot product. So in previous classes of vectors, we have discussed about the addition of two vectors. And here, dot product, mul uh, in this dot product, we will see the multiplication of two vectors. Multiplication of two vectors is of two types, that is uh, dot product and cross product. So in this session, we are going to uh, learn about dot product. Dot product or scalar product. So A bar is a vector and B bar is a vector. So A bar dot B bar equal to AB cos theta. That means by doing the dot product of two vectors, we should get a magnitude. That means we should get the number. So here A is the magnitude and B is the magnitude. And here cos theta represents the angle between the two vectors. So A bar dot B bar equal to AB cos theta. So let us consider one situation here. A bar is a vector and B bar is a vector. So here uh, both the vectors are making some angle theta and here one more thing is if I draw a perpendicular here so here to here this will be a sorry this will be B cos theta that means contribution of vector B on vector A. So like this we can write A bar dot B bar equal to A bar sorry A of B cos theta. That means here uh, this is the contribution of B bar on A bar. So B cos theta. In the same way if I draw a perpendicular here so this will be our a cos theta. So at that time we can write it as a bar dot b bar equal to a cos theta of b. So to do the dot product, simply if we do the dot product of two vectors, we will get the magnitude of the vector with angle between the two vectors. And here, so to get the angle, what is angle cos theta equal to A bar dot B bar by AB. So this is the angle between the two vectors, cos theta equal to A bar dot B bar by AB. So now let us see some properties of this dot product or we call it a scalar product. Coming to the properties, See properties in the sense in previous uh, classes also we have seen some properties for uh, sum of two vectors. Here we are going to see the dot product properties, dot product properties. First one, if you take a bar dot b bar, that will be equal to b bar dot a bar. That means it obeys dot product obeys it obeys what is this sorry it obeys commutative law it obeys commutative law and in second uh, coming to second one p bar dot of q bar plus r bar can be written as p bar dot q bar plus p bar dot r bar. So what is this law? This is the distributive law. So this dot product or scalar product will obey commutative law and it obeys distributive law. Distributive law. And next uh, coming to the next one. If theta that means angle if theta theta is between consider like this 0 degrees less than 
theta less than 90 degrees that means theta is in between 0 and 90 degrees then if theta is between 0 and 90 then a bar dot b bar will be positive if theta angle is between 0 and 90 then a bar dot b bar will be positive see already we know that uh, uh, all silver teacups so in first quadrant all will be positive in second quadrant except the sign sign will be positive remaining all will be negative tan will be positive remaining all will be negative cot will be positive remaining all will be negative so here in first quadrant 90 0 to 90 means first quadrant no so a bar dot b bar is positive and if theta is between 90 and 180 degrees then a bar dot b bar here in it will come to second quadrant now so a bar dot b bar will be negative if it is between 0 and 90 a bar dot b bar will be positive if it is between 90 and 180 it will be negative remaining uh, third and fourth quadrant also it will be negative and next coming to the fourth point yes if theta is equal to 0 0 degrees then 0 degrees means for consider a vector a bar and another vector b bar both are parallel to each other then oh, a bar dot b bar will be equal to a b cos theta that means a b cos 0 that means a b it will be maximum a b will get when if the theta value is equal to 0 we will get a b a bar dot b bar equal to we will get a pure magnitude a b in the same way if the fifth point if theta is equal to 180 degrees 180 degrees means see this is a vector a bar and this is the vector b bar both the vectors are in opposite direction so at that time a bar dot b bar will be equal to a b cos 180 cos 180 means minus 1 so we will get a maximum magnitude but minus a b will get that means both the vectors are having magnitude and uh, both are in opposite direction a bar and b bar both the vectors are in opposite direction and next uh, if theta value is equal to 90 degrees if the theta is equal to 90 degrees yes let us consider here a bar is a vector and b bar is a vector both are making angle 90 degrees then a bar dot b bar equal to a b cos 90 cos 90 value is 0 so we'll get 0 a bar dot b bar will be 0 when the two vectors are perpendicular to each other when the two vectors are making an angle 90 degrees then a bar dot b bar will be 0 and coming to the next one dot product of vector with itself then it magnitude will be square that means dot product of a vector itself then its magnitude will be doubled or square magnitude will be will be square that means a bar dot a bar both are same vectors so we'll get a dot a cos theta see let us consider a bar same vector no so it will have a same direction also 
if the direction is same angle between the two vectors will be zero so we'll get a a a cos zero a a cos zero means a square cos zero value one so we'll get a square so the dot product of vector itself then its magnitude will be square and coming to the next one dot product of a unit vector dot product of a unit vector see already we have discussed the unit vectors a unit vector see is x axis y axis z axis we know that on x axis i cap on y axis j cap on z axis k cap so if you do the dot product then it will be like this i cap dot i cap will be equal to i square that equal to i value unit vector no magnitude is 1 so 1 square will get 1 in the same way j cap dot j cap that also will be j square 1 in the same way k cap dot k cap k square value 1 if you consider the i cap and j cap the angle between i cap and j cap is 90 degree in the same way j cap and k cap angle is 90 degree and angle between k cap and i cap is again 90 degree that means that vectors are mutually perpendicular to each other so here i am considering i cap eighth one i cap dot j cap is equal to both are mutually perpendicular to each other when the two vectors are perpendicular to each other then we will get zero so i cap dot j cap is zero or if you take it reverse j cap dot i cap that also will be zero or j cap dot k cap that will be zero if you take reverse k cap dot j cap is will be also equal to zero if you take k cap dot i cap it will be zero if you take reverse i cap dot k cap that also will be equal to zero so if you take a uh, two different vectors which are mutually perpendicular to each other the value will be zero and next uh, let us consider p cap sorry p bar p bar let us consider p bar equal to p x i cap plus p y j cap plus p z k cap in the same way q q bar i am taking q bar equal to q x i cap plus q y j cap plus q z k cap so if i do dot product for this two p bar dot q bar equal to so p bar dot q bar equal to multiply this px qx i cap dot i cap plus again px into qy px qy i cap dot j cap plus again px into qz px qz i cap dot k cap and now here we will get py py into qx qx j cap dot i cap plus again py qy j cap dot j cap plus py qz k sorry j cap dot k cap and now pz pz qx k cap dot i cap plus pz qy k cap dot j cap plus pz qz 
k cap dot k cap so if you consider this i cap i cap see at j cap j cap k cap k cap except this three see i j i j zero take it out i k i k zero j i j i zero in the same way j k here it is j k zero k i zero and k j zero so only three left here let us write this here p x q x i cap dot i cap i cap dot i cap means value one so what is this p bar dot q bar equal to p x q x plus p y q y plus p z q z so the dot product of p bar dot q bar equal to p x q x plus p y q y plus p z q z so in this session we have a seen the dot product of two vectors uh, uh, that is nothing but the magnitude of the two vectors and the angle between the two vectors a bar dot b bar equal to a b cos theta and we have seen the properties uh, dot product of two vectors obey commutative law dot product of two vectors obey distributive law and if the angle between two vectors is uh, sorry if the angle between two vectors is 0 to 90 in between 0 to 90 then the two vectors a bar dot b bar will be positive if the that means they come to first quadrant no positive if the angle is in between 90 to 180 it will come to second quadrant so it uh, a bar dot b bar is negative and if the angle sorry yeah uh, yes angle theta equal to uh, uh, zero then we'll get a bar dot b bar equal to a b magnitude will get if the angle between uh, two vectors is 180 degree we will get minus a b why because they are mutually opposite to each other and if the angle between the two vectors is 90 degree then we will get zero and we have discussed about uh, um, if the magnitude sorry dot product of vector with itself will get the square of the magnitude and we have seen this i bar yes this one yes this one dot product dot product of a unit vector if it is i cap and i cap the value will be one if it is j cap and j cap one k cap and k cap one but if you take i cap and j cap they are mutually perpendicular to each other so that will be zero k cap and i cap also zero so and this we have discussed the dot product of p bar and q bar